Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm just showing you how to pass a vector into a function in C++. So this is the code that we had from a previous video uh, where we define a vector of integers called numbers, and then we use pushback to create elements and fill those elements with some values, and then we see out all that stuff to the screen. So the program output of this looks just like this. We basically have 10 elements. Each of those is numbered 1 through 10 for their value, and we see it out to the screen. Uh, so what we're going to do is we want to recreate this, just not, but not have these loops inside the main function. We want them to be in their own function separate from that. So what we do is we create a void function. Then we can call it anything. We'll call it fun, and this will just be the name that we're using inside the main function. Uh, and then we'll pick our type, so it'll be a vector of integers. And then we give it a name for while we're work we give this vector this incoming vector a name while we're working on it inside this function. So we'll just call it blah. We can really call that anything we want. All right. So we build our body of our function. And then we, what we want to do is we want to drop in um, these statements into the body of the function. So before actually before we do that, we'll do that in a second. But let's look at the main function I guess first. So we know that we, in our main function, we define a vector of integers called numbers, and then what we want to do is we want to pass that vector into numbers, or sorry, into fun. So we just type it simply like this. We have fun, and then numbers, just like that. So in this statement, we are just passing in this empty vector of integers into fun. And that will be our main function done. And then what we have to do is we have to create some statements up here because this is going to accept that vector called numbers. And it's going to sort of temporarily rename it as blah while we're inside the body of the function. Uh, and then we'll put in our statements here for all of the work that we wanted to do to it. Now, I did mention for the body of this function, we're calling this vector blah. So we have to change that from numbers. It won't recognize numbers if we don't. Um, and there we go. That should work. So we will build and save and we'll run the program. And there you go, it's actually printing out exactly what we had expected, uh, exactly what we were doing before, but now we've actually moved that work outside of the main function into a void function. Something that's important to know that, so it, it assigns these values into blah, it prints out blah's values to the screen, but at the end of the main function, really if we were to try, if we were to investigate this, we would actually find that numbers is still uh, an empty vector it has size zero because we didn't pass by reference into here. So if we do want to pass by reference because for some reason we want to actually manipulate numbers in the main function, what we can do is we can add in a little ampersand here and then what we can do just to prove to you that we're actually going to affect whatever happens, uh, whatever happens to blah inside here will affect numbers in the main function what we're going to do is we'll move this out here and we'll change this back to numbers. So what we do now is we create a vector of integers called numbers. We pass that empty vector into fun. For a little while, it, uh, it, it takes it by reference. So whatever happens to blah, which we've renamed the incoming vector, that will happen to numbers outside the, the void function. So then when we're in here, we use pushback to create elements, assign values to those elements. And then at the end, it boots us out of the void function. And when we check to make sure that we actually did assign, that we actually did affect the, the incoming vector of integers called numbers, uh, we will we'll print out, we'll see out the, the elements or the value, the elements of numbers to make sure that it actually did sort of overwrite or really work actually on numbers in the main function. So there we go. We see the same program output, and just I can maybe change something just so you know that it's not just printing out the same thing every time. Uh, I'll just change that. So it was previously starting with 1 through 10. Now it should be 2 through 11. There you go. All right, so uh, that's how you pass a vector into a function, and uh, we did it by value and by reference, so I hope that helps.